Hollywood's biggest night. From the winners and the snubs to the red carpet, we're recapping last night's Academy Awards. And we don't want to waste any time. We'll kick things off right now with entertainment correspondent David Correa. He is here to tell us everything, to break down all the fun, all the entertainment, all the excitement. And there was a lot to talk about. So before we dive into the awards, I want to talk about the new format for the nominee intros. We were, we were just chatting about it during the commercial break. It was just so genuine and beautiful. And so emotional. It was the best added drama that the show mm -hmm. could bring back. They tried it 15 years ago. Okay. It was a success. Mm -hmm. I don't know why they waited so long to bring it back. Mm -hmm. But that supporting actress category. The Waterworks. Way they, oh. I was crying. I was like, we're off to a rough start if I'm tearing up already. Oh, when <laughs> Lapita Nyong'o talked about D Divine Joy mm -hmm. wearing her grandmother's glasses. Which, what what an amazing fact, by the way, that I was not privy to prior I, to her saying that. I, I mean, I was moved. Yeah. I was very close to my grandmother. I carry her little change purse with me oh, every stop. time I do a, a little segment. Oh so I was like, it, that hit me yeah. so deeply. And it was just beautiful. It was beautiful. I mm -hmm. hope they continue to do that. And I think too, you know, because we see celebrities and they seem kind of, you know, so far away and, and not relatable sometimes, it reminded me that like, these are people who, at one point in their careers, they had a dream, they wanted to become an actor, and talking about kind of their full circle moments and their journeys to get to that point, like, it really humanized them in, in many ways, and, and it was so refreshing. I mean, watching Rita Moreno oh. talk to America oh Ferreira yeah. and do the little joke about America because yes. of her song in West Side Story, and watching, I mean, imagine being America sitting there watching this icon who won this award right. that you also as a Latina, mm -hmm. you couldn't beat that moment. Yeah, and I read something too that, that one of the, the women as well, I think she wore the original uh, dress or jacket that she wore to the Oscars, and I'm blanking on her name right now, but one of the former winners. Yep. Um, but, that, but so many cool moments like that. But now we're going to dive into the big winners of the night, and I will say you predicted it I here did. first that Oppenheimer was just going to sweep and that's exactly what happened. That's exactly what happened. They won seven awards last night. Wow. And they took home Best Director, mm -hmm. Best Supporting Actor, Best Lead Actor, and so many other awards. And really, what's great to know is that a lot of those people were first-time Oscar winners. Which really surprised me. I had assumed uh, Killian, am I pronouncing yes. it correctly? Killian Murphy um, had won before, but that, that was his first. That was his first. Wow. And Robert Downey Jr., who's had this extensive career of 50 mm -hmm. years, his first nomination was 31 years ago. Yeah. And he took home his first Oscar last night. Mm -hmm. And I, we all knew it was going to happen. It was leading up. Mm -hmm. He took home the SAG. He took home the Golden Globe. Mm -hmm. It was going to happen, but it was just beautiful to watch someone's career finally flourish. Mm -hmm. And it just goes to show, your time is your time. Absolutely. And and there's no time period. Like a lot of people say, like, I'm past my prime. And, and I think a lot of the, the year, the winners in years past have kind of, you know, proven that, that, you, you know, it doesn't matter what age you are. Yeah, absolutely. You can have your moment at any time. Was really excited as well for Emma Stone. My goodness, she's so talented. Big moment for her last oh, night, too. Huge moment. It was her second win. Mm -hmm. She was incredible in Poor Things. That's mm -hmm. such an incredible movie. Yeah. And that one was a tough one. We didn't know which way it was going to go. Was it going to go? I was surprised. Lily? I thought was it was going to go to Emma. Mm -hmm. I, I would have loved to see that historic moment of Lily mm -hmm. taking home the first Oscar for a Native American woman. Mm -hmm. But Emma took home a Golden Globe. Lily took home a SAG. Yes. We, we were going back and forth, and Emma was incredible and poor thing. She deserved the award, and I don't want to take any flowers away from her because she is an outstanding actress. And i got to be honest, if my dress popped open on stage <laughs> like that, I don't know what I would have done, but she carried on, and she was so poised and calm and, and, and just so authentic. It, it always surprises me, too, when someone who is that talented seems so shocked, Yeah. right, that, yeah. that they've had that moment on stage, but I think it goes to show she seems like a really wonderful person. Absolutely. You were just mentioning uh, the woman who won Best Supporting Actress actress that might have been one of my favorite speeches divine joy randolph another person that mm -hmm. if you're someone who is looking to reach a goal mm -hmm. who's chasing a dream just showed everyone last night you can do it yeah you can have people in your corner that support you like her mother like her acting mm -hmm. teacher and you can get there and you don't it may be a different road she said she was a singer and she ended up an actress I know. 
I know. That was amazing. And I love, too, I think that she said something to the effect of for so long she had been trying to be somebody else, and then she finally realized that just being herself was yep. enough and thanked the audience and the folks that she worked with for seeing her. Yeah. Like, what a powerful statement. I mean, I just, I've really enjoyed watching her career blossom over the years. And, Me too. And every award that she has received, you know, is, is well beyond deserving. Um, now songs. Best, we, we're going to get to that in a second, but but best original song first. This was no surprise, and, and no. you predicted this as well. Yeah, I mean, Billie Eilish and Phineas are a duo like no other. Yeah. Love to see the brother-sister love happening there. You've mm -hmm. met my sister. She comes with me to the show all the time, <laughs> so I totally get it. Uh, they took home an award, and it's history-making. Yes. Because now Billie is the youngest two-time Oscar winner Incredible. ever. Incredible. Incredible. And uh, and she's 22 years old, she right? She is 22 years old. She won her first Oscar two years ago. It's like, what were we doing when we were 22 <laughs> years old, right? Not that. <laughs> Not that. Not that at all. <laughs> but it's, it's, it's remarkable. And she also gave a beautiful performance yeah. last night as well. But the, the moment of the night for me, and I think that we can agree on this, Ryan freaking Gosling. What? What? So the Kennergy. The Kennergy. It was everything. It was enough kin <laughs> for me. It was enough, yes. <laughs> I mean, he looked fantastic. Yeah. He really channeled the character of Ken. Mm -hmm. He was so funny, and we were just ch chatting about it before. Mickey Mouse Club. Like, he's been doing this forever. It's funny, because a lot of people on social media were so surprised that he could sing and that he could dance. And But he, yeah, that's where he got his roots yep. with Justin and Britney at the Mickey Mouse Club. And, and my goodness. And then some of the cast of Barbie were doing some of the choreography with him. The choreography was phenomenal, by the way. I mean... It was the best, best performance, performance of the night. Best performance of the night. <laughs> best performance. Hands Hilarious. down. Hands down. And then I think one of the most creative to present an award uh, was John Cena, <laughs> especially because of the category. So weigh in on that. <laughs> I watched the awards last night with my mother. Oh, God. And I was like, oh, I can't. What is happening? And then she was like, well, why is he holding the cards there? And I said, Mom. <laughs> Why do you think? <laughs> Although he did have some form of underwear on because I did see a yeah, behind the yeah. scenes photo. So there is yeah. that. But, you know, he looked good. He looked great. <laughs> if anyone's going to do it, it's John Cena. Absolutely. There were so many incredible moments last night. And it's always fun to recap them all with you. And, gosh, there were plenty more. We're out of time. But if people do want to catch up on the latest entertainment news, where can they go? They Devali. can follow me, David, up to speed. Spell David, up, number two, speed. Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. You name it, and I posted a ton of stuff from last night, so okay. you can check out some recaps there. Good stuff. So much fun. Thank you so much for Thank being here. Thank you for having me.